So what's next? We heal, we grow, and we help others. Welcome to our Couch Series 3. I'm Alina Goncalves. Hello. I'm so thrilled to be here filming our Couch Series 3. Uh, I am a purpose-driven change agent. Hey guys, my name is Jules. Um, I started a garden at the beginning of the pandemic to help feed my family and now it's kind of grown into a project that I hope can reach as many people as possible. My name is Amy McCambridge Steph and I'm the founder of the Unbridled Heroes Project. And growth to me and being free and balanced is really the essence of what we're trying to do with Unbridled. I've, I've always had a garden of, of some sort. Every single day is, is a different experience. So I'll be out in my garden and it's almost like a meditation. It's, it's being at one with the earth. It really gives you a sense of, of being and presence in the moment. When the pandemic happened, there was all this stuff on the news about food shortages and you know difficulties that people were having in order to obtain supplies. And so that's when I started kind of seeing how I could help others around me with the resources that I have. When this all started and I realized how big my garden was getting, I was, I was thinking to myself, this, this garden needs a name. So I decided to name her Marge. So we decided, well, if it's gonna be called Marge, we need a flag. And so I designed that it would be kind of this, you know, almost like the emoji symbol of, of, a, of a sprout. What kept you going and uh, what, what advice would you give based on your success of growing your garden? And Amy, I would love to hear your, if there's like one advice. When starting anything in life, don't put boundaries on yourself. Don't feel that, you, that you're going to be restricted because the best things, especially if you're passionate, they grow far past what you ever expected them to be. It's so hard in today's world with the pressures of the world, of our peers, of our parents, of our society to fit in. I urge everybody to embrace that part that doesn't. With any project, there are things that um, can be setbacks and can be discouraging. Um, but really, you need, to, you need to keep the motivation and keep the goal. If you really truly act from that pure part of your heart, you really can't go wrong. And things might be unexpected. It's nature, you know, like you don't know what to expect with, with the animals, with the horses. Just like in the garden, I don't know what to expect with, with the plants, with the wildlife that's coming and trying to eat my plants. When you're planting a seed and you're watching it grow, watching unbridled thrive and become what it's becoming, which is more of like a movement of change is, is incredible. The Mustangs have taught me so much about life, about myself. When I'm outside and connected with them, it, it, it brings me back to this, you know, more balanced self, a more powerful self. It's where all the great ideas come from. You know, we really need to um, kind of be looking out for each other, especially in times like these. And gardening and helping feed other people can be very empowering. You can give something that you've worked very hard for to somebody else. Work is love made visible. Mother Teresa once said that I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples. Believe in yourself and keep going despite any challenges that you may face, because it is all the struggles that will help us grow. So thank you so much for joining us and stay tuned for our Couch Series, Episode 4.